Hey everybody, we're gonna look at importing drums into Logic Pro 10. These are drums which were recorded in Pro Tools, and so I've just got my Pro Tools audio folder here, and I know that they were labeled before recording and that all the numbers were in sync, so I'm just pulling out take three from this. And it's as easy as dragging these into Logic. We're gonna create new tracks when we do this. But because there are some things I want to actually cover with this, it's important just to bring them in just how they are. It's doing some conversion to stereo files for ones that had the dot left and dot right from the others. We're going to change the project, not convert the files here. And there we have it. So here are the drum files. Let's change our tempo right now to the original. I know what the original was in Pro Tools. Let's just push play and see what it sounds like. So they're not exactly, they weren't started, it looks like on an actual measure. Let's come through and edit this down just a little bit so we can get this right. So right there, that should be more of a downbeat for us. Let's edit this out a little bit. Get them just at least starting in the right place. Okay, so now I'm gonna drag these up to the beginning of the project. So we have them, I think, close enough for this. We'll know more in a second. But now I wanna go through the process of two things. One of them, with all of these selected, we're gonna come into our menu and we're gonna create Smart Temple Multitrack Set. Now we do have a few settings for this if you wanna see these in the Smart Temple Project Settings. One of them, right here is create matching edit group when creating smart tempo multi-track set. So we're gonna turn that on. I want to make sure that because these are all open mics and the same instrument, I wanna make sure that we have the edit group all happening simultaneously. So then we'll come back into our tempo, create smart tempo multi-track set. All of them are selected. Let's update. So this is going to allow everything to be analyzed. It'll allow it then to be, well, it'll stay in sync with each other if we do any kind of changes to something like uh, quantization or using the groove track and all of that. We'll have a little cue that shows up here. It actually is making a group. So you can see it over in our group settings as well. Here's our advanced settings down there. It's editing and quantize locked. So I'm gonna come in now to the tempo again. And this time we're going to write project tempo to audio file. It says write project tempo to audio file. It's just saying that this cannot be undone. That's fine because we have it all right there. So it's still playing the tempo. If I change the tempo now, say I move this down to 120, it's still not changing with the project itself. But we now have the tempo written into these files. The last thing that I wanna do is come and say, apply project tempo to region and downbeat. Should still sound the same because it's at 160. But now if I move this down to 120, now it's going to adjust with the tempo itself. So this is where I wanted to be with all of this. I wanted to be in a place where if I'm changing the tempo or doing anything with tempo, that these drums, which were recorded to a click track in Pro Tools, will now adapt and work with the tempo that I have in Logic. One of the applications of this then would be something like adding some Apple loops to this. If I wanted to come through and add a bass part from the Apple loops, the tempo issues are gonna be a lot tighter now. So let's just find an electric bass. Doesn't matter too much. 
Let's pull this out. It's going to put it in. We'll just hit loop on it for now. And let's turn on our groove track so that we can sync up the groove of each of these. We can do this with the, the drums being the lead and the bass following. Or we could do this with the bass leading and the drums following. Or if we don't want to do any of that, I can now just select my audio from the drums and we can turn on quantization and quantize this. Let's mute the bass for a moment and have this just go to the grid without, well, it's just going to fix some of the timing errors. Keep in mind, these are raw drum tracks, haven't been mixed or anything. They actually sound pretty good for that. But once you start actually doing some of the editing on them and, and tightening them down, they're going to sound actually really great. Okay, so those are the steps when you bring in drums recorded in a different DAW. You want to trim them down. If they were recorded to a click, we would actually set the tempo in Logic to the same thing. We're going to make sure our settings here create a matching edit group when creating smart tempo multi-track set. We're going to come through into our tempo menu and we're going to write project tempo to audio file and then we're going to apply project tempo to region and downbeat. Okay, so those are the steps we go through. After that, we can do all these other cool tempo things with a full multi-track drum kit. Now, for those of you who made this far, Tell me if you found a little easier step-by-step -step in order to get that done. This is what I kind of navigated to get this to work, but uh, I'm still a little vague in a couple areas if I needed to do all of those steps. It seems like I do because when I don't do it in that order or don't do it that way, then the tempo ends up being actually kind of funky on the tracks. So I'm hoping that this is the most concise way, but definitely weigh in down in the comments. I'm open to figuring out a better way to do this, but just let me know. Hope you're having a great week and I will talk to you all soon.